Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are looking at NeoFly again. Version 1.3.3 has been released. Do not forget that uh, if you are enjoying this and you are playing it, uh, to, to send him a donation because this is a free um, program. So uh, I've got my aircraft set up at, uh, because it's a new version, then um, you can actually modify your save files and stuff and modify the configuration files to continue on from where you were but I decided because we'd only had one uh, one look at it that um, I would uh, start afresh um, so I'm going to start at Ararat Airport uh, Yankee Alpha Romeo Alpha uh, in the Cessna 172 now you'll see some changes here first of all that's the airport and here are the jobs but you will notice that there are aircraft available here for purchase which is actually pretty cool now there's also a 787 here which uh would never be able to land at this airport which is a little bit crazy but um uh, a lot of aircraft there available for purchase um there is also uh let's see as you can see the um as opposed to purchasing licenses for different categories of aircraft you now need to do a a, a, t a test uh, like a test flight to be able to pass for that particular license as you're moving through so that's pretty cool no logs at the moment hangar we have uh, currently have a Cessna Skyhawk G1000 uh, in our hangar and uh, as you can see you can actually now repair hulls overhaul engines and uh, and sell aircraft as well as purchase them which is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so a lot of updates there uh, I am having trouble setting my pilot position to here but I'm hoping that if I take a job and the fact that the flight sim is actually uh, at that airport that we will be able to do one so what we're going to do is um, we need to do a passenger run at some point in time um, we've got uh, three passengers here uh, who are heading down to Warnable. That would be an absolutely awesome flight to do. Uh, let's see, uh, which we should be able to do. Uh, we've got passengers here heading over to here, over to Kerrang. Um, yeah, I used to uh, run a driver. Well, I used to sit on a train going through Kerrang and stuff at say, one point in time. I used to drive through there in a job all the time. Um, so I was thinking maybe we could do that warnable job. I reckon that might be really, really nice. Uh, 6,190, distance 65 nautical miles. So uh, let's fly that job. All right, beautiful. So I'm hoping that this will locate our pilot. Uh, at our airport uh, which it has beautiful because it's the first one so there you go uh, we are ready to go motor's not on uh, payload is not loaded let's uh, head off into the simulator and we will start the aircraft up and uh, yeah real well weather uh, I do have a track IR set up again I am going to uh, give it a go I'm not sure whether or not uh, whether or not it's going to uh, work or not because I have been having trouble with it. So, all right, let's just move those in. Let's move that in. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Thankfully, that's uh, shut off now. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Let's uh, give ourselves a little bit of fuel pump because she is cold. Our park brake is on. We shall do that. Turn that off. Yell out clear prop. And there we go, beautiful. Let's just uh, let the aircraft warm itself up a little bit. And uh, it is showing now, as you can see, uh, if I have a look at the tablet here, as you can see, uh, it is showing that the aircraft is running. So hopefully we will get our payload loaded very, very shortly because I haven't heard any um, I haven't heard any uh, anything from the program as yet. So, all right, let's uh, let's turn on our nav lights. We won't turn out on our strobe lights until we get out there. Let's just uh, let that warm up a little bit. We are going to Warnable, which is uh, YWBL. So we shall set up our uh, flight plan. 
we'll go direct to I think uh, in there Y all the way down to B B I think it was W L wasn't it uh, Y W B L dork Simi right Y W up to the next one down to B right there and to L right there let's enter that and activate that flight plan that should come up here now beautiful okay so I'm not sure why uh, why the program is not loading the passengers are we let's uh, take our park break off for a sec and set out set our park break again it is connected but it is not loading it is not loading our uh, passengers for some reason we're in the right aircraft everything is picking up except for the passengers are not being loaded uh, perhaps we need to load them ourselves uh, let's see, cargo 429 pounds, so perhaps we need to load that cargo, I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a look in here. Cargo 429 pounds. Uh, let's see. We just, uh, if we delete that. There, and we go into here, and we go 429. Passenger mission waiting for you. The boarding will start as soon as you are at the boarding parking. Let's try that again. Four, two, nine. <laughs> there you go. It had a bit of a spastic. All right, so we've loaded that up. Transporter form dispatch. Boarding passenger, please stand by. Okay, lovely. So the passengers are boarding now. We can hear them getting onto the aircraft. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, let's have a, a bit of a squeeze at this. Uh, have a little bit of a squeeze at this and we will set up our uh, primary flight display we'll throw our wind in there is no wind data at all so I am not sure what's going on there just typical flight sim bugs because uh, because the whole game is a piece of crap uh, let's see what else order from dispatch all passengers on board you can ask for the clearance to take off excellent no worries so we've got passengers on board uh, it's going to be a little bit hard, isn't it, to uh, to do that? Let's uh, just have see if we can see the uh, see if we can see the windsock anywhere. Cannot see the windsock anywhere at all, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, all right, I don't think we're going to have any type of uh, ATIS or anything like that here. Uh, just traffic. All right, no worries. Which is a uh, bit useless. I uh, can't see a windsock out there. We're facing the runway. Okay. Alright, let's uh, just have a look outside. Nope, nothing there either. Uh, weather. Can we see what the weather is at the moment not giving us any indication there um, okay that's fine that is fine what we are going to do then is we are going to taxi out and we're going to take off on a on a runway a runway all right so let's uh, bring our taxi lights on uh, let's see anything else is on uh, flaps are up we are set for trim fuel is okay bring that out a little bit to uh, prevent um, prevent our aircraft from overheating uh, I'm also going to set the altitude to uh, probably let's see what are we we are uh, 1000 feet above so I'm going to set this to uh, 3000 we will fly at 3000 feet so that should be okay we'll set that all the pilot up when we uh, when we get out there so uh, everything else is okay to go and off we go 
Alright traffic, Fox Road India Golf, taxiing to runway. Seeing as how we don't know what runway we are supposed to be flying at, uh, then we are going to need to, um, ah, look at that, we are going to need to uh, just uh, taxi out to this one and take off I'm guessing. Just need to make sure that we're going to be okay on that wing there, which it looks like we're going to be. That should be okay. I really wish they didn't have GA pushback on on in this uh, in this simulator. I really do. All right, beautiful. Here we go. We will line ourselves up right here and park brake on. We've got four passengers. Everything looks clear there and looks clear there. Let's turn our taxi lights off. Turn our landing lights on and our strobes on. Uh, we'll go mixture rich. We're not going to use any flaps. Uh, what I will try and do now is I will try and uh, reset track IR so that we can use that. Thankfully it's working. It didn't work last time. Uh, last time I flew so alright let's uh, let's get out onto the runway. We're, we're going to use as much runway as we possibly can. Uh, we should be alright there so we'll just uh, run out here a little bit. Arrow out traffic, Foxtrot India Golf, uh, taking off active runway. That's what we're going to have to do, I think, by the looks of it. So let's just uh, taxi out here. All right, lovely. We're going to taxi out, uh, climb to 3,000 feet and uh, just track direct down to Warnable. So, round we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, and uh, off we go. I think we'll do a rolling start. Everything is okay. Trim is set. Passengers are on board. Beautiful, nice little airfield to run out of. I thought it'd be a, a lovely one. Look, it looks like the wind sock saying that it's absolutely and utterly calm. Now we are showing that now it's picked up weather, so it's showing that uh, we're kind of taking off with a little bit of a. We've got a crosswind. We've got a crosswind from the uh, left. It's only one knot, um, and it's kind of behind us. What are you doing, Trim? What are you doing, Trim? There we go. All right, we'll try and set this up to uh, to fly out. Okay, everything's looking okay. Let's stabilise this aircraft a bit. Trim wise, trim seemed to want to take off quite a lot there. Okay, lovely. All right, everything's looking okay. Let's continue to climb out. I'm just going to uh, bring that out a little bit. Bring our mixture out. sit about there. It's looking lovely out there. And we shall do ourselves a right turn and we will intercept our track down to Warnable. Not a very long flight, 65 nautical miles. Looking very dry out there at the moment, isn't it? Let's continue to climb. Lovely. Beautiful. Alright, so we should uh, intercept our track this way. Alright, let's uh, let's just um, let's synchronize our uh, synchronize our heading. Let's turn our autopilot on. We will uh, select our heading, and we no 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 no. Oops. We did synchronize heading, there we go, that's a little bit better. We'll synchronize that. There we go. That's alright. And uh, we will turn our vertical speed mode on for our altitude this time. On. And 300 feet per minute, 400 feet per minute until we get to our altitude. And the aircraft has started to stable off a little bit, so 
Uh, let's see. Everything's looking good there. It's all looking good over there. How lovely. All right, we are going to now set our uh, navigation. So we'll turn nav mode on. The aircraft should turn into our uh, our radial very, very shortly. It does like to intercept at about 45 degrees, so. There we go, lovely. Beautiful. All right, I'm just going to slow the uh, slow the climb out a little bit, the, the climb a little bit. All right. Farmland down the bottom there. You can see some tractor trails and some uh, farm truck trails. It looks very nice out there, doesn't it? Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. Let's maybe just uh, have a look over the over the top there a little bit. All right, just bring that uh, bring that mixture out a little bit. Should be okay. Pretty good fuel flow. It's, uh, it's getting a little bit. Uh, it's getting a little bit misty out there, but it's actually not too bad, is it? Let's bring our throttle in there. Speed the aircraft up a little bit and hold it about here. We're uh, only, uh, only 150 feet be below our uh, altitude. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, guys. I will see you guys when we uh, when we get relatively close. Um, before I do, let me just uh, let me just pause that track IR and bring this in here for us, uh, so that we can have a little bit of a look. We've got. Uh, let's bring it up to here. Uh, center plane on map. So we're heading down here. You can see where we are at the moment. Uh, you can see where we have flown. We've come out. And we've done that. We've intercepted our line there. You can see the, um, ah, there we go, I've, I've actually got it on centre aircraft there, so, um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So everything is going really, really well. That's all the Grampians over there. Now, the Grampians are a massive national park, and if you ever come to, uh, if you ever come to Oz, definitely, definitely check out the Grampians. The Grampians is such a beautiful place, uh, and the Blue Mountains. Uh, Hall's Gap, which is uh, which is just in here, as you can see, is an absolutely amazing place to stay if you ever want to stay somewhere um, and check out the Grampians. So, all right, guys, uh, that is pretty well it. We are going to fly at this altitude, um, and I will. Um, it's an absolute beautiful day out here. I will see you guys when we uh, when we get relatively close to our destination. Alright guys, that uh, lake over there, that's Lake Bolak and uh, this uh, town here is the town of Lake Bolak sitting near these salt lakes here. Uh, so we've got a couple of salt lakes here and that's uh, that's actually Lake Bolak there. So uh, still coming in, still heading in. We're uh, currently, um, and get that right, we're currently uh, 39.6 nautical miles from Warnable at the moment. I thought we might have a look at uh, sort of start looking at uh, considering what we are doing for our uh, for our landing. As you can see here for Warnable Airport, uh, the elevation is 200, uh, 242. Um, we have runway 31 and uh, runway 13, as well as uh, uh, which is a hard surface, which is going to be the runway we're probably going to land on. They also have runway 0422. Um, which is an unknown surface, so I'm assuming that's going to be dirt or grass there. Um, what we will probably do, I would say, is uh, you can see the uh, airport there. Um, what we will do, I would say, is probably currently, if we, uh, if we have a look at what our uh, what our wind is doing now. Uh, currently our wind is at uh, 277, which means that we're probably going to land on runway 31, I would say. Uh, let's just move our heading around to uh, 31. 31 is at uh, 307 
degrees so we will move this around to ah oh, look I've, I've done the uh, I've, I've got the old bug got the old bug uh, where it'll only do increments of 10 so um, I would say that that will probably be the runway that we will be landing on at this point in time dependent on what happens with the wind as we actually reduce our altitude and we get we get past this uh, wispy cloud layer that we're currently flying in at the moment the outside air temperature is not too bad it's eight degrees celsius out there at the moment so that should be okay um so i would uh, i would assume that we are going to be landing uh on runway 31 uh if we go to the chart for warnable as you can see in here there we go so runway three run will be running through this way we're going to come in from here probably going to um, we're probably going to do left traffic um, for runway 31 uh, if we go back as you can see um, pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that uh, warnable doesn't have a tower uh, not even during the operating hours during the day so um, we will probably be talking to um, probably just be talking to traffic as we come in so just uh, letting them know what is happening and what our intentions are so, uh, so there we go that's what we're going to do uh, I might see if there's any uh, while we are flying might see if there's any type of instrument approaches or procedures going into um, going into there uh, warnable approach procedures it doesn't look like there are any approach procedures going into there so uh, we will forget about that there we go All right so let's uh, just close that off uh, is there any arrival procedures going in there as well I don't know let's uh, let's have a look uh, nope definitely no arrival procedures either so we'll just get rid of that so uh yeah there you go so we'll just be talking to traffic when we come in uh we're 33 nautical miles out so i will um i'll probably get back to you guys at uh at about 10 nautical miles out we are going to descend to um if the airport's at uh, 242 we are going to descend to uh, 1700 feet um before we get to uh, 10 nautical miles out, we will then uh, at 10 nautical miles out probably drop down to 1,300 feet, so that we're about uh, 1,000 feet above the uh, above the airport, uh, which will get us out of this wispy cloud, which isn't too bad at the moment anyway. So I'll see you guys uh, when we are 10 nautical miles out. All right, guys, uh, we are 10 nautical miles out from. Um, from Warnable at the moment. Uh, Warnable is sitting over there, the town of Warnable, in that sort of dark patch there, and you can see the ocean there. Uh, we've got a considerable uh, 20 knot crosswind at the moment. We're uh, descending through 1,800 feet, so I'm hoping that uh, we're not going to hit too much, uh, too much headwind coming into uh, into runway 31. But uh, we will see how we go. So uh, we'll just make a quick call to um, Warnable Traffic just to uh, let them know what we're doing. Uh, Warnable Traffic, Cessna, Foxtrot, India Golf, nine nautical miles north of uh, Warnable. Uh, inbound to land on runway 31. All right, lovely, lovely. Uh, Okay, cool. So uh, you can see just over here is the town of Woolsthorpe. Where is that? That's sitting over just over here somewhere, I think. Probably about over there. We see it. Is that Woolsthorpe in there? It might be Woolsthorpe in there, perhaps. I'm thinking. Mm. No, it's not. It's uh, it's more over there. Okay, cool. We're, we're very, very close to it anyway. Uh, we are descending. We are going to keep descending until uh, we are 1,200 feet uh, at this point in time because um, it will, uh, by the time we get there, by the time we get to the airport, then uh, that will probably be okay. 
so uh, coming in directly into the airport we're going to do a left turn uh, and do right traffic I think on uh, runway 31 I think I might have said left traffic before but uh, we are doing right traffic uh, this is the town of Winslow just here right near that tiny little lake there uh, is the town of Winslow that's uh, just off our nose there so uh, we're getting very very close to our, uh, our altitude we are getting bounced around. We're still uh, we're sitting at about um, f about 15 knots now at uh, 291, 292 degrees. So that should be okay for our uh, for our landing. Should be fine into that. Uh, probably going to need less flaps because we are going to slow down pretty quick. So uh, as you can see, directly in front of us there is uh, I would say this is the airport just over here we are flying into so uh, as soon as we can see that runway then we will do our uh, we will do our downwind leg so probably going to take over from the autopilot at any time now but uh, yeah we're kind of crabbing we're, we're, we're crabbing in we're actually moving in this direction here uh, it's a little bit hard to tell but uh, we are actually moving in this direction here so because of that uh, because of that crosswind all right, lovely. Everything's looking good there. That's our runway right there, by the looks of it. And that would be the uh, cross runway. What have we got over there? There's the town of Warnable over there. All right, beautiful. Lovely. All right, so we'll get ourselves just a little bit closer. Uh, and then we shall set the aircraft up for a, uh, for a landing. Nice. Uh, get a lot of storms coming off the uh, south coast here, off of Warnable. Um, you get a lot of thunderstorms coming in here, and they come in really, really, really quickly as well. So, interestingly enough, uh, been been staying in a, stayed in the back of a van uh, along the beach side there in the dunes. At, uh, at one point when I was a bit younger and a, a storm came in and it was the worst storm that I've ever seen, I tell you, it was horrible. It was like the van was almost uh, was almost turning over and uh, blowing over anyway. All right, we're going to go uh, full mixture. Just going to bring this down, trim the aircraft and we're going to go into a, uh, a, a base. Uh, Warnable traffic, Foxtrot India Golf is uh, type Cessna in uh, downwind, runway 31. Now you would normally enter a, pa a, uh, a pattern like this at um, um, about, about a 45 degree angle is usually the way that you would enter a pattern um, to, to a runway, about 45 degrees. So let's uh, slow this aircraft down a little. Okay, I'm just going to put our uh, track IR back on again. There we go, lovely, so that we can look out there. Right, beautiful. Let's slow the aircraft down enough to um, to be able to deploy some flaps. There we go. Okay, landing lights are on, mixture is rich. Everything is set. And uh, just... Trim the, trim the nose of the aircraft up just a bit there. Oh, not too much, Simi, not too much. It just wants to take off. So it can be either really temperamental or really terrible. Okay, where are we? Right, we're getting pretty close to being able to, to, being able to turn now. Right, lovely. So there's Warnable right there. It's a beautiful place if you ever get to, uh, if you get ever get over to Oz. Um, or if you ever get to Victoria, definitely go and check Warnable out. It is a beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful place. All right, we are going to go uh, one stage of flaps down here. There we go. Let the aircraft settle a little. And we are going to turn. Warnable traffic, Foxtrot India Golf uh, flying base. Okay, there you go. And there's our runway right there. 
probably a little bit low, a little bit slow. Around we come, beautiful, lovely. Do love a little bit of track IR on this. It uh, certainly makes a huge difference. Wonderful traffic, Fox trotting into your golf. Uh, I'm final for runway 3-1. Okay, bring ourselves in. We're flying directly, directly into the wind. So, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at about an 11 knot headwind coming in here, so. Okay, aircraft is trimmed. Everything's looking good. We're probably gonna get a little bit of uh, turbulence coming in as well, but uh, we'll, we should be fine. We should be fine, that's our... Uh, there we go, we'll just uh, bring that in again. Yeah, it would, would have been actually quite a nice airport to uh, to fly out of as our base as well, but uh, I'm sure that we will be flying in and out of here quite a bit anyway, so uh, it's nice to be able to, um, nice to be able to get some flying done in uh, uh, around my home turf, meaning all of Victoria, not meaning uh, Warnable, but meaning all of Victoria, but uh, places that I've been to quite regularly, so. 500. All right, beautiful, there's our call out for 500. A little bit more oomph there. Just keep making slight adjustments. Everything's looking pretty good, pretty good, so. Uh, we're probably going to have to go down and uh, do a turnaround and come back into uh, come back into the uh, into the parking area there. So over the cars on the road, lovely. Uh, probably a little bit fast there, I would say. It's going to bring the nose up just a bit. Come on, slow the aircraft down a little. There we go, lovely. And bring the nose around. Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the next parking and put your parking. Come on, bring it, bring it around, bring it around, Simmy. All right, beautiful. Okay. All right, for some reason it just really wants to push to the right there. Because uh, we're right down here on the surface, we've got a, a, a nine knot crosswind. That is why. Okay, let's bring those flaps up. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna turn the taxi lights, uh, taxi lights on until we get off of the, uh, off of the runway itself. So that wind is really playing with the aircraft, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so we'll uh, taxi down here. Beautiful. Yeah, she really wants the weather vane. I'm just going to put a little bit of right stick on there. Just to stop us from... Uh, just to try and prevent us from uh, flipping over. A little bit of left stick, not right stick, sorry. Right, so uh, yeah, the uh, the wind definitely changed when we got down below, uh, probably below about 500 feet. I think it uh, it changed. So considerable wind levels there. Lovely, which is why I had to give myself uh, a little bit of uh, or quite a bit of right right uh, rudder coming into there as well. So. That would be the uh, cross cross runway, which would just be a dirt surface there. Right, she definitely, definitely wants to uh, fling around into the wind there. Lovely. You can see how much rudder that I've got on there to keep us straight, so. All right, let's uh, slow this beast down a little bit. Go, we'll get off the uh, get off the runway. We'll call ourselves clear. Okay, there we go. Just over to here, and uh, yep. 
Audible traffic, Fox Road Indy Golf is clear of runway 31. Okay, uh, let's see. We can uh, turn our taxi lights on and our landing lights off. Everything else is okay. We'll uh, bring that out a little bit. Our uh, flaps are up, so we're going to go and find ourselves a nice park. Not sure of the type of parking that we have on here. Probably park in the fuel zone here, I would believe. Might be an idea, I reckon. Just in here should be okay. Uh, some pretty red lines there. Right, I'm just going to bring it around and uh, face it into the wind. There we go. Beautiful. All right, park brake is going on. Transporter, disembarking of passengers can begin. Excellent. We'll, uh, freeze that track IR there. All the passengers are getting out. While they're doing that, we'll turn our taxi lights off, we'll turn our strobes off, turn our nav lights off. Oops, somebody said thank you. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how people are making high heel noises in the back of a Cessna 172, but they are. Love it. Alright, sweet. Okay, so our park brake is on. And we will starve this engine. There we go, beautiful. Uh, we will turn off uh, the beacon lights. And we shall turn this off. Alright, lovely. Back in the hangar there. So, uh, let's see. That was a successful flight, as you can see here. Um, let's see. To warnable, waiting for engine start. Motor on, boarding passenger. Boarding okay, waiting for takeoff. Airborne. Uh, 78 we lifted off, uh, landed at destination Warnable. Um, speed was minus 104.94. Uh, probably not my best landing, to be honest, but uh, it was a landing nonetheless. Uh, set parking brake, onboarding passenger, success. Um, let's see, bonus comfort plus 10%, bonus landing plus 10%, so that was pretty happy. Uh, aircraft was pretty happy I mean uh, the software so you can see our airframe um, our airframe condition um, I don't know whether that's what uh, what condition it's in or what type of um, what type of um, uh, stress we did on the airframe over that flight so one successful land there pay 6,190 61 nautical miles uh, you can see that's gone on to our rank. Uh, next rank at 200. I think we've gone to cadet. There we go. We have. Uh, and there's all of our stats there. So we are currently at Warnable, guys. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the updates. I like the updates that they've done on here. I like the fact that you can do a... Um, that you can now do... You, ne you now have to actually do a uh, an exam on these aircraft to be able to fly them. Um, everything it just works so well in this for a, um, a free for a free program seriously uh absolutely incredible so if, if you like doing this type of stuff uh, in the next episode we're going to go and do probably some sort of medical drop or something like that so um but for now if you like this one hit like if you haven't subscribed to the, to the channel definitely subscribe to the channel and uh don't forget to come join us on twitch i will see you in the next episode of neo fly guys thanks for watching bye